everyone, I'm Patience Helezira Ismaila. I am the project coordinator at Akin Fadei Foundation. Today we are at the Bwari Area Council in Abuja, where we will be conducting the Be Safe Sensitization Workshop, an initiative by the Akin Fadei Foundation with support from the MacArthur Foundation. This initiative is a testament of the Akin Fadei Foundation's commitment to positive behavioral change, gender equity, and social inclusion. Come along with us on this life-changing journey where we empower students and staff of three government senior secondary schools here in Bwari Area Council to create safe spaces online and beyond, empowering them with skills to combat cyberbullying, sextortion, gender-based violence and corruption. Corruption not in my country, corruption not in your country, corruption not in our country. You're welcome to the Be Safe Sensitization Workshop where you are empowered to create safe spaces online and offline. Let your voice be the voice of reason. Let us see it out there that as Be Safe champions, you are out there saying no to cyberbullying, no to sextortion, no to corruption. Why is it that despite all the warning, many people still have the hodge? to the corrupt. Nobody is born corrupt. It doesn't appear when you are giving birth to. Corruption is very much a learned behavior. So now the urge to be corrupt is a learned urge. It's not something that just manifests in you. I don't know how I just told two million naira. No, you, th you thought about it. You let it sink in your head. The urge will always come and go. But what you do with it is what really matters. Corruption, not in your country. Whether you have the urge, whether it comes, whether you feel it coming like a spirit, a wave. I had to, I had, there's nothing like I had to. There's no day corruption has come and manifested in a person and held the person and say you have to steal. And even when it does, you can say no to it. Sometimes we witness or experience cyberbullying or even physical bullying in our very before and we are student, students, we may try to bring solutions to such activities but in the process of trying to get a solution you get punished by other violent students. So what should we do in such situation? Physical bullying should be more appropriate in that context. There should be a teacher that you trust. No matter how your school is, no matter how porous it is, no matter how bad it is with the issue of bullying that we have these days, there is a teacher that is always at the hem of such an affair. So you run to that teacher. Don't handle it yourself. Because when you want to handle it yourself, it can break into your fight, and before you know it, they use it to cover it and the whole lot will be suspended or expelled from the school. So the best thing, start knowing your teachers by their names, especially the ones that can stand for you. I feel confident that in any situation I can speak out because I'm not voiceless. We should be mindful of the information we share and we should also be conscious of what we post online. I can protect myself and my friends because me protecting myself is also protecting my friends and sharing information to them about everything I learned today. I really enjoyed the initiative um, today as a program and um, I really appreciate the facilitator who really, you know, her examples and everything, the illustrations and um, the analogies. So um, I'm encouraged to, you know, go back to school and then talk to my students, you know, and let them understand the power of being safe. We also encourage um, organizations, NGOs like the Be Safe Initiative um, that is from the Akin Fadei Foundation to you know bring programs like this to the school and give the children this kind of um, exposure you know where they get to learn about safety and all these things, bullying, these things happen. Thank you to all the participants who have shared their thoughts and experience with us. Today, the Be Safe workshop has provided valuable insights and practical strategies to help keep everyone safe, both in the digital and physical world. This is Faith Joseph from Flaggy TV, reminding you to stay informed and be safe. Correction.